Good morning, it's time for our children's story. And I'm actually going to read a story or part of a story this morning as, par as our story. Are you ready? Not on a train, not in a tree, not in a car, Sam, let me be. I would not, could not in a box. I could not, would not with a fox. I will not eat them with a mouse. I will not eat them in a house. I will not eat them here or there. I will not eat them anywhere. I do not eat green eggs and ham. I do not like them, Sam, I am. That was a good story. Well, maybe part of a story. We just, we just got to read one page. There's more that happens before it in the book and there's more that happens after it, right? It's only one page. Can anyone tell me what the book is? You're right, it's Green Eggs and Ham by Dr. Seuss and it's one of my favorite children's books. But when we only get one page, we learn some things, don't we? We learn in this story, for example, we learn that someone doesn't like green eggs and ham, that he wouldn't eat them anywhere, and that someone named Sam I Am is trying to make him eat those green eggs and ham. But there's a lot that we don't know from reading that one page. We don't know the name of the person who doesn't like the green eggs and ham. We don't know why Sam I Am is trying to get that person to eat them. And we don't know how the story ends. And perhaps even more importantly, we don't know how the story begins. We don't know how or where or why all of this starts to happen. And life is like that too. Sometimes we meet someone and we only get that one page. We only get that one moment. And we have no idea what has happened to that person in their story before we arrived. And we often don't know how their story will end after we leave. And yet, we often treat them as if we know the whole story instead of just realizing that all we see is this one little page, this one little moment, right? Because sometimes we come across somebody who's sad and crying and we get uncomfortable and we kind of walk around them or walk really fast away and we avoid them and we don't stop and learn the story about how they got there and why they're so sad. And other times, perhaps we run into somebody who is really angry and they are yelling and they are upset and their body language and we do the same thing. We walk around them, we cross the street to avoid them, we walk a little faster because we don't know why they're angry and we're afraid. But perhaps if we stopped, if it was safe, if we stopped and learned more of their story Maybe it would help them calm down and feel heard and understood. It's hard. It's hard sometimes to forgive other people or to treat them well because all we're getting is that one little page in front of us. But God, God knows the whole story. And that's one of the reasons why God can forgive us so easily because he knows the who and the how and the where and the why and he knows how it ends. And so it's easier for him to forgive us because God knows that we have tried, even if we have failed. In that moment, God knows that we have tried. And it can be hard for us to forgive others. It can be hard for us to love others. It can be hard for us to offer grace towards other people because we don't know their whole story and yet we often act like we do. Can you pray after me? Dear God, we thank you for Jesus. Thank you for loving and forgiving us. Help us to love and forgive others. Even though we don't know the whole story. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Our song is a camp song sing-along by Roots from Camp Kintail, and it's called A Place in the Choir.